peace of mind. How often have you found yourself complaining about how poorly you slept the night before, that you went to bed with an ear full of trouble? Given the choice, wouldn't you rather fall asleep with a mind full of peace? The secret to a mind full of peace lies in one's mental attitude. The life of strain is very difficult. On the other hand, the life of inner peace, being harmonious and without stress, is the easiest type of existence. It is a life which accepts God's gift of peace and embraces the attitude of relaxed trust in Him. The first technique recommended is to practice emptying the mind. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of a frequent mental catharsis. This means clearing the mind of fears, hates, insecurities, regrets, and guilt. The mere attempt to empty the mind tends to give relief. Haven't you ever experienced a welcome sense of release when you've poured out your troubles to somebody you can trust? One effective method for doing this is the daily practice of silence. Everyone should insist upon at least 15 minutes of absolute silence every day. Go alone into the quietest place available and sit or lie down. Do not talk, do not write, do not read. Think as little as possible. Conceive of your mind as the surface of a body of water and see how nearly quiet you can make it so that there isn't even a ripple. When you've attained a quiescent state, begin to listen for the deeper sounds of harmony and beauty and of God that are to be found in the essence of silence. I was once conducting a religious service on an ocean liner on a voyage to Hawaii. In the course of my talk, I suggested that people who were carrying worries in their minds go to the stern of the vessel and imaginatively take each anxious thought out and drop it into the ocean and watch it disappear in the wake of the ship. It seemed an almost childlike suggestion, but a man who had quite a no-nonsense manner came to me later that day and said, You know something? Every evening at sunset, as long as this voyage lasts, I'm going to drop all my worries overboard until I develop the ability to cast them entirely out of my consciousness at will. Every day I shall watch them disappear in the great ocean of time. Doesn't the Bible say something about forgetting those things that are behind? Of course, just emptying the mind is not enough to prevent those old unhappy thoughts from sneaking in again, you must refill the mind immediately with creative and healthy thoughts. These happy thoughts will stand guard when the old fears, hates, and worries that used to haunt you try to edge back in again. At intervals during the day, practice thinking a carefully selected series of peaceful thoughts. Let mental pictures of the most peaceful scenes you have ever witnessed pass across your mind. For example, you might see a beautiful valley filled with the hush of evening time as the shadows lengthen 
and the sun sinks to rest. Or you could recall the silvery light of the moon falling upon rippling waters or the sea washing gently upon soft shores of sand. Serene images like these will work upon your mind as a healing medicine. You might also practice the techniques of repeating beautiful words out loud. Words have profound suggestive power, and there is healing in the very saying of them. Utter a series of panicky words, and your mind will immediately go into a mild state of nervousness. You will perhaps feel a sinking in the pit of your stomach that soon affects your entire body. If, on the other hand, you speak peaceful, quieting words, your mind will react in a peaceful manner. Use such words as, for example, tranquility. Repeat the word slowly several times. Tranquility is one of the most beautiful and melodic of all English words, and the mere saying of it tends to induce a tranquil state. It is also helpful to use lines from poetry. When peaceful quotations are dropped in the subconscious, they lubricate the mind with peace. Here is one from a 16th century mystic. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. Everything passes away except God. God alone is sufficient. The words of the Bible have a particularly strong therapeutic value. Drop them into the mind, allowing them to dissolve in consciousness and they will spread a healing balm over your entire being. For attaining peace of mind, this is one of the simplest things to do, and also one of the most effective. There are other practical ways by which you can develop a serene state of mind. One way is through your conversations. Depending upon the words we use and the tone in which we use them, we can talk ourselves into being nervous, high-strung, and upset. But by our speech, we can also achieve quiet reactions. Talk peaceful to be peaceful. You see, the words we speak have a direct and definite effect upon our thoughts. So in a group, when the conversation takes an upsetting trend, Try injecting peaceful ideas into the talk. Note how it counteracts the tension. A conversation filled with unhappy expectation, at breakfast, for example, often sets the tone of the entire day. On the other hand, if you start each day by affirming peaceful attitudes, your days will tend to be pleasant and successful. Perhaps our lack of inner peace is due in part to the effect of today's increased levels of noise. Research indicates that certain amounts of noise in the place we work, live, or sleep affects the nervous system and reduces efficiency. Contrary to popular belief, it is doubtful if we ever completely adjust to some noises. No matter how familiar a repeated sound becomes, it never passes unheard by the subconscious. Automobile horns, the roar of airplanes, and other strident noises actually result in physical activity during sleep. Impulses transmitted to and through the nerves by these sounds cause muscular movements which keep us from getting a real rest. On the other hand, the practice of silence is healing, soothing, and healthy. The sense of rest that results from the practice of complete silence 
is of utmost value. Now there is another factor in the search for inner peace that I must mention. Frequently I find that people who lack a sense of inner peace are victims of self-punishment. At some time in their life they've committed a sin and are then haunted by a sense of guilt. Sometimes this type of person has sought divine forgiveness and the good Lord we know always forgives someone who asks him and who means it. However, there is a curious quirk in the human personality that sometimes won't allow an individual to forgive himself. A person like this feels he deserves punishment and is therefore always anticipating punishment. As a result, he lives in constant apprehension that something bad is going to happen. In order to find peace under these circumstances, he feels he must intensify his activity. He thinks that hard work will give him some release from his sense of guilt. A physician told me that a number of cases of nervous breakdown in his practice were linked to such guilt feelings where the patients unconsciously attempted to compensate by hectic overwork. Then they attributed their breakdown not to a sense of guilt, but to their overworked condition. This doctor told me that such a breakdown needn't happen if only the patient could be released from his guilt. Under such circumstances, peace of mind can be found by yielding the guilt as well as the tension it produces to the healing therapy of God. I once encountered an acquaintance at a quiet resort hotel. This was a high-pressured, hard-driving, and exceedingly nervous businessman. I found him sitting in the sun in a deck chair and said I was glad to see him relaxing in such a beautiful spot. Nervously, he replied, I haven't any business being here. I have so much work to do at home. I'm under terrible pressure. I'm nervous, jumpy, I can't sleep. My wife insisted that I come down here for a week. The doctors say there's nothing wrong with me that right thinking and relaxation can't cure. But how in the world do I do that? I would do anything to get a sense of quiet inside myself. We talked a bit, and it came out that he was always worrying that something sinister was going to happen. For years he had lived in a constant state of apprehension about something happening to his wife or his children or his home. It was not difficult to analyze this case. His trouble rose from a double source, from childhood insecurities and from later guilty experiences. His mother had always felt that something was going to happen and he absorbed her anxiety feelings. Later, he committed some sins, and his subconscious mind insisted upon self-punishment. As a result of this unhappy combination, he was now suffering from a highly inflamed state of nervousness. Finishing our conversation, I stood beside his chair a moment. There was no one near, so I rather hesitantly suggested, Would you by any chance like me to pray with you? He nodded, and I put my hand on his shoulder and prayed, Dear Jesus, as you healed people in the long ago and gave them peace, heal this man now. Give him fully of thy forgiveness and Help him to forgive himself. Separate him from all his sins and let him know that you do not hold them against him. Set him entirely free from them. Then let thy peace flow into his mind, into his soul, 
and into his body. He looked up at me with a strange expression on his face and then turned away, for there were tears in his eyes. Months later, I ran into him in New York, and he said, Something happened to me that day when you prayed for me. I felt a strange sense of quietness and peace, and he added, healing. This man now goes to church regularly and reads the Bible every day. He follows the laws of God and has a great deal of driving force. This is a healthy, happy man. For now, he has peace in his heart and in his mind. If you are having trouble finding peace of mind, here are a few exercises. 1. Every day, put aside 15 minutes for yourself when you can find absolute silence. Go alone into a quiet place and sit or lie down. Think as little as possible. Allow the silence to open you up to feelings of harmony and beauty. 2. From time to time during the day, practice concentrating on a selected series of peaceful thoughts. Think of your past as a painting from which you can choose the most serene moments you have ever experienced. Allow your mind to dwell in those scenes until you feel you are present in that place and absorbing its tranquility. 3. Practice the technique of repeating beautiful words out loud. Words have profound powers of suggestion, and there is healing in the very saying of them. 4. The words of the Bible are especially therapeutic. Drop them into your mind, allowing them to dissolve in your consciousness, replacing negative thoughts.